there is a continuous debate about the nature of out of Africa migration. Was this a one-time event or did it take place on multiple occasions? The site of Ubadiyah is found close to the southern edge of the Sea of Galilee, near Kibbutz Beit Zera, and is one of the earliest prehistoric sites to be found outside of Africa, and dates to around 1.5 million years ago. The only other site that predates Ubadiyah is the Manisi in the Republic of Georgia, which dates to around 1.8 million years ago. Ubadiyah was discovered and excavated in the early 60s by many of the famous Israeli prehistorians who uncovered rich stone tools assemblages that were used by early humans, together with numerous animal bones, some of which went extinct long time ago, like saber-toothed cats and mammoths, while others are not usually associated with Israel, such as hippos, rhinos, and big crocodiles. In 2018, Miriam Bellmaker won a National Science Foundation grant to study the ancient climate and to accurately date the site. While studying animal bones from the site, she came across a vertebra with human-like feature that was actually excavated in 1966. Together with Professor Elabin, we studied the vertebra and came up with some new and important conclusions. First, it is a fossilized early human bone that belonged to a child. We know so because of the shape of the vertebra and the fact that it is incomplete meaning that it did not finish its growing process. We estimate that had it reached adulthood, this individual would be around 1.8 meters tall and weigh about 19 kilograms. These numbers are similar to some of the large bodied hominins that are found in Africa in the similar um, time period, but are very different from the small body hominins that we found in Georgia. Second, he will witness two distinct human species at the same time period, which is known as the Lower Pleistocene outside of Africa. We know that the earlier stages of human evolution took place outside of, uh, took place in Africa, based on the fossil record and, uh, and by comparing DNA data from apes and humans. However, over the years, there is a continuous debate about the nature of out of Africa migration. Was this a one-time event or did it take place on multiple, multiple occasions? And who were the people who migrated out of Africa? Our current study indicates that early hominins migrated at least twice and in two distinct ways. This is because the people of the Manisi are different in size and shape from those of, in Ubadiyah. Moreover, Dr. Omri Barzilai studied the stone artifacts from both sides conclude that the stone manufacturing techniques, are, as well as the stone tools themselves, are different. Professor Miriam Bellmaker concludes that the climate, as well as the animals, are also different in, from, in both sides. Thus, with each migration wave came new and different type of hominy, with their own stone making traditions, which may indicate maybe about, the, about their cognitive abilities and the different preferences of their ecological niche and habitat. Thank you for listening and have a great day.